when I'm doing problems that involve compounded interest, I look for the keyword continuously. When you see that word, you know that you should use the formula A equals P E to the R T. Okay, so A equals P E to the R T. Now, if it didn't say continuously, but rather quarterly or monthly or annually or weekly, you would use the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. So that is a formula that you should know. It should be on your sheet for the test, um, but it's not the formula you use for this problem. We're going to use A equals P E to the RT. So they tell us that um, P is 1,000, so I'm going to start plugging in the stuff I know here. The interest rate is 9%, which we would write as 0.09. And the question is, how long? So I'm going to be solving for the variable T. And how long until the investment doubles? Well, if it starts with 1,000, then double would be 2,000. And now I have to solve this equation for T. So my first goal is to isolate the exponential expression, so I'm going to divide both sides by 1,000. And I get 2 equals e to the 0.09t. And then I have a variable trapped in the exponent. To get it down, I call my good friend ln. Take the ln of 2, that should equal the ln of e to the 0.09t and the ln of 2, that's just a number we could get from our calculator but the ln of e to the 0.09t that's just 0.09t because ln is log base e and when the bases match the base and the log and the base and the exponential expression when they match we just do lift off you just lift off the exponent and then we just have to divide both sides by 0.09. And we get t has to be approximately ln2 divided by 0.09, which is approximately 7.7 .7 years.